Warning. Your local county authorities have issued a civil danger alert. The County Weather Service has issued the following correction for the weather warning in effect. For your safety remain indoor. The meteorological event is safe for all to view. Warning has been lifted. Close and secure all possible entrances to your home. Switch off all lights. Do not look out of any windows. Do not respond to any knocks on your windows or doors until the all clear is given. Remain silent at all times. Jeremiah 16 verse 16 Behold I will send for many fishermen says the Lord and they shall fish them and afterward I will send for many hunters and they shall hunt them from every mountain and every hill and out of the holes of the rocks for my eyes are on all their ways they are not hidden from my face nor is their iniquity hidden from my eyes First I will repay them double for their iniquity and their sin, because they have defiled my land, they have filled my inheritance with their carcasses of their detestable and abominable idols. We know that Jesus came and he spoke to Peter and said, follow me and I will make you fisher of men. Ever since then, the Lord Jesus Christ has been raising up ministers as fishermen to fish for his people to go out into the world and to preach the good news, the gospel, for the saving of people's soul, to turn from their wicked ways, to turn from their evil sin, and turn to a life of righteousness through Jesus Christ. If the Son sets us free, we are free indeed. But as we read in the scriptures, the time is coming where our work will come to an end. And the hunters will be sent out, these angelic hunters of God that will be sent out to hunt down every man, woman and child that is living in sin. Our time is going to come to an end where we can't work any longer. Jesus says this in John 9 verse 4. He says, I must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. The night is coming when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. But there's going to be the time where Jesus comes and takes back what belongs to him. In Matthew 13 verse 37, this is the following what takes place. He answered and said to them, He who sows the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world, the good seeds are the sons of the kingdom, but the tares are the sons of the wicked one. The enemy who sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are the angels. Therefore as the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so it will be at the end of this age. The Son of Man will send out his angels and they will gather out of his kingdom all things that offend and those who practice lawlessness and will cast them into the furnace of fire. There will be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. He who has ears to hear that in here. Jesus is saying pay attention. 
this angelic hunters are coming and everybody living in lawlessness, practicing lawlessness, breaking the spiritual law of God, the righteous requirement of the law of God are not a part of the bride that is without spot and without blemish. In Isaiah chapter 13, we get to read more about these angelic hunters, where they come from, and what they're going to do. Isaiah 13 verse 3 I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for my anger, those who rejoice in my exaltation. The noise of a multitude in the mountains like that of many people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of the nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts musters the army for battle. They come from a far country, from the end of heaven. The Lord and his weapons of indignation to destroy the whole land. Well, for the day of the Lord is at hand. It will come as destruction from the Almighty. Therefore, all hands will be limp. Every man's heart will melt and they will be afraid. Pangs and sorrows will take hold of them. They will be in pain as a woman in childbirth. They will be amazed at one another. Their faces will be like flames. Behold, the day of the Lord comes cruel with both wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate. And he will destroy its sinners from it. For the stars of heaven and their constellations will not give their light. The sun will be darkened in its going forth and the moon will not cause its light to shine. I will punish the world for its evil and the wicked for their iniquity. I will halt the arrogance of the proud and I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. I will make a mortal more rare than fine gold, a man more than a golden wedge of ophir. Therefore I will shake the heavens, and the earth will move out of a place, in the wrath of the Lord of hosts, and in the day of his fierce anger. It will be as a hunted gazelle, and as a sheep that no man takes up. Every man will turn to his own people, and everyone will flee to his own land. Everyone who is found will be thrust through, and everyone who is captured will fall by the sword. Their children also will be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses will be plundered and their wives ravished. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them who will not regard silver. And as for gold, they will not delight in it. Also their bows will dash the young men to pieces and they will have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eye will not spare children. This is the wrath of God that will come upon this earth when the appointed time comes where the day of the Lord comes. And we know that the time is coming. Jesus does not slack. But we have to repent of sins. We have to turn away from our sins. We have to walk away from it and choose to be the bride without spot or blemish. We have to fear God. And this is only done by faith. In Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7, it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But it's fools that despise wisdom and instruction. We speak, we warn, we preach to every man, woman and child. But people still continue to choose to ignore the instructions of God and they choose to disobey. And unfortunately, the wrath of God will abide on them if they do not turn from their wicked ways by turning to the Lord Jesus Christ, repenting of their sins and asking the Lord to guide them and lead them and walk away from this wicked world. They will not deny themselves and carry the cross. So the wrath of God abides in them. In Psalms chapter 85 verse 9, the psalmist says, Surely his salvation is near to those who fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed. People do not want the fear of God. They do not understand the fear of God. The psalmist writes about this so many times throughout the book of Psalms. Psalms chapter 19 verse 9, he says, The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The fear of the Lord is clean. It endures forever. We know that Job was a man that God spoke to Satan about and gave testimony that there is none like him in all the earth. A man that was blameless, one that feared God and shunned evil. The secret is in fearing God. People do not want to fear God, but I tell you, my brother and my sister, when you read the scriptures, you have to have faith enough to believe that these things are coming. And nobody, nobody wants to be on the receiving end of God's wrath. 
We know that Jesus, when he was in the garden of Gethsemane, he said, Father, if it's possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, let your will be done. Do you know what was in the cup? It was the wrath of God. Jesus drank the wrath of God for you and I. Accept that and live for it. Accept Jesus Christ and change your ways. Sin no more, as Lord Jesus Christ says. Sin no more. Unless, if you continue to disobey, you will face the wrath of God that is coming. If Jesus Christ has taken that wrath upon himself for you, then accept it. Stop accumulating more debt by sinning because the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. The time is now for us to change, my brothers and sisters. The angelic hunters are coming.